I'm really excited about today's interview for our Freedom Friday series. We've got Tony Hooli, Hooli Tony <laughs> Hulahan joining us from uh, from Illinois. Again, I'm really, really excited. Uh, Tony's the sort of agent that probably could run circles around me as far as PNC insurance is concerned. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll turn the time over to you, Tony, so you can give a, a brief introduction, and then we'll we'll dive in to talk about your journey uh, of starting your own independent agency. So go ahead and take it away. Let let everybody watch and know who who you are and uh, and what you're currently yeah. doing. Yeah. So uh, Tony Hulahan, um, I uh, own Hulahan Insurance Group. Um, I went independent uh, about a year ago and uh, I've, I've been loving it. I'm in Illinois, I've been in insurance for, um, this is going on to my sixth year. Um, and uh, yeah, it, insurance has really been something that was, uh, that was really cool, um, especially starting out. Cause when I started, um, you know, six years ago, I came from a completely different industry and since then, you know, to go from a completely different industry to now owning my own independent agency, um, that's it, it's a great feeling. Let's go ahead and you know you, you've run your own agency for for one year, which is awesome. But if we take a step back in time, could you tell us a little bit? I mean, how how did you get started in the industry? Because we all know insurance tends to find us. People don't really like go out of their way to start agencies. It just kind of falls into our lap. So how did you get started into insurance? Yeah. So, um, I mean, it, marketing and sales was, uh, something that I, I really liked. Um, and fresh out of college, I had a job where, um, you know, I, I was in marketing and in sales and, uh, I, I did a lot of, um, business with, you know, from, uh, cause I worked at Chicago land skydiving center and, uh, I, I ran the, the marketing department for them and they had an on-site restaurant. So I, I worked a lot with the public in that area. So I did a lot of, uh, you know, business to individuals. Um, with that, I also marketed and worked with uh, various businesses in the area. So I got familiar working with um, like chambers of commerce and stuff like that. Um, so that's that's where I really got my, my sales experience. Um, and then from there, I had left and took a position as a district manager with uh, Aramark Uniform Services um, and was there for a few years. And, you know, I wanted to, it was more of the service side um, and the management side, and I wanted to get back into sales. Um, so my wife and I we were just kind of looking, um, looking at job postings for various sales positions in the area. Um, and I saw one pop up for insurance. Um, and it was with Liberty Mutual and we had Liberty Mutual insurance at the time. Um, oh. So I reached out to my agent and I was like, you know, can you tell me a little bit about, um, you know, what it's like working for the insurance company and what it's like in insurance sales? And, uh, you know, he had a lot of positive things to say about it. And mm -hmm. I was like, you know, that that sounds like something that I would be interested in doing. Um, so I, you know, did the... Uh, filled out the application and a few weeks later, I was uh, starting my insurance career. And uh, it's, yeah, that's that's how I got started in insurance. <laughs> yeah. Now, how long ago was that you said? Um, that was, I believe like five years ago. So I'm going on my sixth year of being in the, the insurance industry. Okay. So tell us a little, about, little bit about Liberty Mutual. Uh, like, so getting started and then just overall, like maybe the model and you know, how, how that that experience treated you as you as you started in the industry? Yeah, so it was a really great experience to start with. Um, you know, the the office that I worked with was um, was really cool. And Liberty is more of a um, where yeah, you, know, you have like your State Farm offices, your Allstate offices. Um, Liberty has multiple agents working out of one office, so the agents don't right. own the book of business. Um, they they work for Liberty Mutual. Um, so Liberty, you know, I, I went and got licensed through them um, and went through the the training. So, I mean, I came in completely fresh, never had any experience in, in insurance. Um, so they, they did a great job of training me. Um, I liked their, their training uh, model and, you know, working in an agency office um, or in an office with not only a branch manager, but um, other well-tenured reps um, was a really good way to start because I had a lot of people with 
a wealth of knowledge that I could tap into. Um, and they were, you know, a, a desk away. So it was really easy to ask questions and I, it helped me learn a lot um, in regards to how, you know, how to go about sales, how to go about setting up policies. Um, you know, the, even though you can have, you know, set up various coverages, like these are the ideal coverages that you want to see people with, um, you know, you, you don't want to sell based on, you know, price and just going for the lowest. You want to make sure that the policies that you're putting together are of value to the clients because you're ultimately putting together something that could protect them in the case of, you know, some serious issues. Um, so you're protecting people's livelihood. So it's really important to, um, you know, to, to put together policies that are going to be effective for the clients and not just going for the cheapest rate. Um, so that was, that was how I got started with them and my experience with them. And I was with Liberty for, um, a little over four years and, uh, right around four years. And, uh, and it was, it was a really good experience. Yeah. Well, and I think oftentimes when I talk to agents who are brand spanking new and a lot of times they want to jump right into being independent, I'll often tell them, Hey, look, you should probably go work with a local agent and, and being independent is, is ideal. But the reality is like some of the best training takes place within captive companies and Liberty Mutual is like semi-captive, right? Uh, yeah. Where you, you, you lead with Liberty Mutual, but you do have some other options. Correct. But like, like you mentioned, if you're a captive agent, they will train you on how to sell value, right? That's like, cause you're not going to win on price uh, very frequently. You know, you might be in the ballpark, but it's tough to win on price as a captive. And so they're oftentimes some of the best trained salespeople because you sell on value and appropriate coverage and claims and stuff like that. Uh, so I, I think, I think that's great. And oftentimes when those agents, when they're the ones who go independent, they crush it because all of a sudden you take the value proposition, you tack on the carriers and, and you're off to the races. Now, um, one, one of the questions that I had for you, Tony is like working in an office with other agents who can give you other tips and tricks. That does sound great. I've also, I, I have spoken to some agents though, who are sometimes a little leery of like sharing their secret sauce. Did you ever have that? Or, or was the office with Liberty Mutual where, where people were just really open to saying, here's what works for me. You need to go apply that. Like, was there never a sense of like, I'm competing with you. So, so I don't really right. want to share this. I mean, how, how was that relationship with other agents? Um, they, the managers that I worked with were, they were really good and they're really good about fostering that type of relationship with each other that we shared best practices. Um, hmm. we shared best practices, not only amongst our own office, but there were, um, you know, best practice series where, uh, if there was an agent who was doing something really well, they would have a spotlight on them where, um, they would send out an email blast with, you know, this agent and what they do and how they do it. Like they would have a whole interview with them. Um, so we learned a lot from not only the people in our office, but we got to hear from agents around our area that were crushing it. And while they might not be crushing it in, you know, say what their, their sales are at the moment, they might be crushing it and setting up partnerships with, um, you know, auto dealerships or mortgage brokers, and they, they may be new, but are really good at that. And that's something that is they wanted to highlight. So it was really cool to hear from a variety of people about, um, you know, what they were doing well. So that was a, an aspect, like you said, that was really cool about working within a captive um, agency. Mm -hmm. I mean, people were, I can't really say that anybody really held back like their, their secret sauce. Um, yeah. it, they were really open to, to help out. And, um, I mean, I was even encouraged to reach out to like the top reps in the, in the area, um, and ask them, you know, what's working for you. And there was a time when I first started it, yeah, it was really difficult my first year. And there was another agent who went through the training with me, um, in the, the same training class that he was crushing it. And I reached out and was like, you know, what are you doing? That's different than, than what I'm doing yeah. because you're crushing it. We went to the same training. I feel like we have the same mentality. We have the same work ethic. Like what's, what's working for you. And he was really open. And that conversation that I had with him changed my production numbers immensely. And next thing you knew, my, my numbers were, were going up and he was even really cool about, you know, reaching out and saying, you know, I see, you know, you're, you're moving up on the, uh, you know, the, the agent list, like nice job, keep it going. Like it was, it was a really good relationship that they fostered with in the agents. 
that is awesome. And like yeah. that's, and that's exactly like what you want in the industry, right? Is to build other people up. <clears throat> Cause there's so many, I mean, there's millions of, of households out there. Right. And like, if an agent can have just like 2000 clients, right. You'd have a killer book if you had 2000 clients. And right. so the like the idea of being like, Oh, well, I don't want to share my secrets with you. It's like, no big deal. Uh, there's, there's, there's so many fish in the sea, like go ahead and share the secrets and build other people up and, 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 you know, create those wonderful relationships. I, uh, I actually in, in the virtual, you know, where people are working from home, it's actually kind of tough to create those, the same types of relationships where you can bounce ideas off other agents. And that's something yeah. that, that we've been trying to do recently, not just with something like insurance boost, but even within Firefly, where we created the, you know, like if a group just with Firefly agents to, to bounce ideas off each other, to send referrals back and forth and to kind of have that online resource where it feels like you're, you're sort of, you know, uh, going to battle with, with other agents. And, and so I'm sure other, other outlets are doing that as well as, as virtual offices become more and more commonplace. But I, I think that's awesome. Yeah. I think that's really great. Okay. So things are going pretty well at Liberty Mutual. This guy's helping you grow. At what point did you know something has to change? Cause it sounds like things are going pretty well. So, so yeah. what was the catalyst that, that eventually led you to, you know, looking into going independent? Yeah. So I, I started, um, I, I started and ran my own networking group um, that I, I actually started right when I started with Liberty Mutual. My manager at the time was like, you need to get into like a BNI or a networking group. And I was having a hard time finding one that had an open spot for an insurance agent because <laughs> yeah, there's always an insurance agent to fill the spot in a networking group. Yep. Um, so I started my own and it was a lot of local business owners that came out and were part of my networking group and uh, they were really encouraging. And, you know, once they saw me really start to, to blossom in insurance and uh, you know, start doing well um, and the way that I even talked about insurance had changed um, you know, they were like, what have you ever think about opening your own agency or starting your own business? And uh, that, that really got the wheels turning for me that, you know, maybe that would be something that I would, that I would like doing. Um, going independent really piqued my interest. I knew a couple of people who did. Um, and with Liberty's model, they have, you sell Liberty Mutual Insurance, um, but they also had a choice platform with a variety of other carriers that I could write through if Liberty wasn't the best fit. Um, so that really helped save the deal if somebody's home insurance was great, but their auto insurance because of, you know, accidents or tickets or uh, whatever wasn't going to happen. And that was going to tank the whole deal. We had other carriers that we could write through to to help save that. Um, and so I got a taste of what being independent was was like. Um, obviously, there were going to be more uh, wanting us to push Liberty Mutual products since it was Liberty Mutual that I was working for. Um, but it was nice to have these other carrier options as well. And once COVID came around and everybody, you know, went and we were no longer in the office and, um, you know, all that was changing. That's when it was like, you know, this is, this is going to be the right time. I just had a, um, we just had a baby boy and we were thinking about what, what's it going to look like when, you know, my wife has to go back into the office. Um, I have to go back into the office. What's that going to look like? And that just, it was the right time to to make that move to go independent. And that's when uh, I started to take a look around and see what, uh, you know, what options there were for me. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so it sounds like the setup with Liberty Mutual is pretty good. The timing worked out. Was there anything with Liberty Mutual? Cause like you, you started this networking group and they were even encouraging you, Hey, you should open up your own agency. Cause you're, I mean, you're stud, right? Like you can handle starting your own business. Was there anything within Liberty Mutual? Like, like, uh, you know, what was it like your closing rate or, or book ownership? I mean, was there anything specifically where it was like, no, this is actually really important to me? Yeah. So um, I didn't working for Liberty and being captive with them. Um, since you don't own your own agency, you don't own your own book of business. Um, and that was something that I like to really foster. And I, I felt strongly that I, I wanted to own my own book of business. I wanted to have something that, you know, I could pass down. I wanted to have something that I could, I could build and grow the renewals and, and really foster those good relationships with the clients rather than always having um, to, to focus on bringing in new business because that's the, the model that is set up. You know, it's a high commissions for new business and low commissions for renewals because you also get a base salary. Mm -hmm. And 
with that, like it, it was always going to, you were always just going to be grinding at full speed. And I wanted something that I could really take the time and foster and grow my own book of business, get to know my clients and, you know, help, help them with their insurance as, as they go through their life. And as you know, I get older and grow my book too. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll tell you, I mean, that's, that's not a real surprise to hear. Like one of the most common things that I hear from agents, either, uh, I mean, like whether it's Liberty Mutual or, or, you know, other companies or producers who are working for other agents, a lot of times they say, I'm just kind of tired of, of growing something for somebody else. I love the industry, but I'd really love to grow it for myself. All right. So ultimately, uh, you know, Tony did end up choosing to work with Firefly. And so Tony, I'd like to just, uh, you know, we don't want to spend too much time because I, I, I try to stress this. I don't want this to be a commercial for Firefly. Um, you know, there are lots of other good options, but in your case, why was Firefly the right fit for you? Yeah. So I, I took a look at a variety of other, um, a variety of independent options. Um, I looked into, you know, going at it just all myself. Um, and I, I looked into, um, you know, working with other aggregators and clusters and, um, ultimately my conversation with you when I was looking into going into, um, like which carrier to go with or which, uh, you know, group to go with. Um, I, I, I was talking with you and you were like, you know, this isn't for, you know, Firefly isn't going to be for everybody. Um, and I, I really took that to heart. And after our conversation, I, I took a step back and I was like, okay, it's not for everybody. Is it for me? And after looking at, okay, I like the model of having options, having a lot of carriers to work with. That's great. Um, you guys help us get appointed with all the the carriers that we can work with. Um, and because we work with Firefly, I didn't have carrier production. So I wasn't going to have the, um, you know, the, the stress of saying, you know, I have to produce so much for this carrier in order to keep my appointment with them. I can really place my clients with who's ever going to be the best fit for them without having any sort of uh, influence that might steer me one way or another that might not be the best interest for my clients. Um, so that was something I really felt passionately about too, because I want to do what's right for, for my clients. Um, and, and so that was something that was a really big selling point. Um, I was able to have a virtual office. Uh, so with having, you know, a, a newborn and, um, you know, being able to at least start off working from a home office was, was important. Um, and the ability, like we have, I feel like we have a lot of freedom, um, you know, a lot of freedom to kind of make things our own and make it truly my own business rather than, yeah, sure. We're under, we're under Firefly or, you know, you're under a Goosehead agency or you're under a, you know, whatever other agency, like, I didn't want to have to, to say like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, Tony Houlihan, but I work for this this agency. You know, I, I own my own business and I have the ability to, to create things and make, truly make it my own and make it, give it my personal touch. Yeah, absolutely. That's awesome. And uh, so I, and I appreciate that. And, and thankfully we were a fit for what you were looking for. And I think so far, uh, forgive me yeah. if I'm being presumptuous, but it's been, it's been a really great year. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's been uh, for us, you know, a slam dunk. I mean, Tony's totally a type of agent that we want to work with. Um, Let's talk a little bit, I and mean, we've got um, we've got about eight minutes uh, before we we wind down because we we have kind of a hard uh, hard end time, which is totally fine. So I have a couple more questions for Tony. If anybody has additional questions, anything that you specifically want to ask, please let us know in the comments below, and I'll pass it along to Tony. And, and we do have one um, from from Brett. Let's see. I see it says. I don't actually quite understand the question, but I want to make sure I'm asking this co correctly. Cause I, he, he asked, do you see any difference in front of your clients or your, your circle of influence based on, I guess, so like you have, you have Liberty. I, here's what I think he's asking. You have Liberty mutual where you have a really good brand. Mm -hmm. And when you go independent, it's Tony Houlihan. Yeah. And so based on your sphere of influence, did you see any impact going independent either good or bad, right? That people were like, no, no, no. Hey man, I really loved Liberty Mutual. 
or that people really were like, no, Tony, I like you. And so I'm going to stick with you. Right. Like what, how did that impact right. your, your relationships? So it, even when I was with Liberty, like I really focused on selling, you know, myself, you're working with me. If you need anything, you call me. Sure. There's a customer service number you can call. I don't like that. You call me. I like to deal with clients, you know, on a one-on-one -on -one basis and take care of their service needs um, because I want to make sure that it's, it's done how I would want it done. Um, I don't want to have to rely on, you know, somebody that I don't know servicing my clients and taking care of them. Um, and my partners that I worked with, they knew that. Um, so when I had referrals from, you know, the dealership that I worked with, they would refer people not saying to go to Liberty Mutual and work with Tony. They would just say, this is my guy, Tony, give him yeah. a call and he'll set you up with insurance. So they, you know, that's the type of relationship that I had with my referral partners and the referral partners that I'm growing and working with now are, I do the same thing. And you know, it, it's nice to, that they're referring people to just me rather than the company, because if things didn't work out with the company that I wanted to place them with, and I was then going to throw out a different carrier option for them, that's not going to be beneficial for them to want to still work with. Yep, absolutely. No, I'm, I'm, so I'm glad it was overall a positive move for everybody, yeah. right? And I think you nailed it. I, I really believe that by and large, the, the agent is the brand and the carrier is the product, right? And so I, and, and, and there are some clients that really care about which carrier, right? I, I, even when I was writing, I remember there were certain clients who'd be like, I do not want to be with progressive or I don't want to be with travelers. Just leave them out of the quote altogether and say, okay, that's fine. But the reality is like people work with Tony, right? They, they would work right. with me. They, they, they don't really, they sort of care. I mean, but as long as the carrier is, you know, like a rated, and they have billions of dollars in revenue that are billions in, in assets. They can cover a claim, you know, a million dollar claim, no problem. Right. Most, most clients are totally comfortable with that. <clears throat> so let's talk a little bit about some of the results. So you were, you were doing really I mean, quite well at Liberty Mutual. You go independent. Can you tell us a little bit about some of the changes that you saw, right? Whether it's uh, premium written or your closing rate or personal satisfaction, right? I'll just leave it open, right? What changes yeah. did you see with your agency and your life when you went independent? Um, so my closing ratio went through the roof, um, you know, with working for Liberty, you have endless amount of leads. Like they, they provide you with leads, um, you know, within, you know, books of business sort of agents who are no longer there that are, have open households, people just calling in because it's a Liberty mutual office and they want, they see the commercial they call in. So there were, there were always leads to work. And when you have tons of just random leads like that, I mean, it's hard to turn those down and say, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to grind and work these leads. Um, but it does affect your closing ratio. Yeah. Um, now, so I, I, my closing ratio was about, you know, 20%. Um, I would say 15 to 20%. And, at Liberty Mutual. Yeah. At, at okay. Liberty. And now my closing ratio, because I don't have just, you know, people calling in and, you know, um, you know, books of business to work, existing books. Um, I'm working all on referrals, referrals from mortgage brokers, referral from auto dealers, referrals from realtors. And I partner with a, a couple of realtors and mortgage brokers and, you know, try to do events with them um, in uh, my neighborhood to, to really build my, uh, my brand and my name in the, the neighborhood. And with that, like I, my closing ratio now is about 80%. It's 75 to 80%, which is just phenomenal. So I'm still yeah. closing the same amount of business. Um, I am, and the premium that I brought in this first year, which I'm coming up on my first year of actually launching the business. And so my last year with Liberty, I think my premium that I brought in was close to like 350,000, maybe a little bit less. This year, I, I'm coming up on 300,000 and I still have a couple months to go. So what I'm bringing in, and even my first year of owning my own agency is similar to what I was at before. And my closing ratio is significantly higher. So I'm not burning myself out just doing quotes and quotes and quotes and quotes and quotes, which gives me yeah. a lot more time to focus on family and, you know, have you know fun with my, my son and my wife and, you know, enjoy the time at home 
And uh, so and that that really improved not only my closing ratio, but quality of life too. Yeah. Well, and by the way, just a side note, your, uh, your home office, assuming you're still working out of your home, looks awesome. Yeah. That is like, you. I really like the background I mean, you're making me look like a, a schlub over here. You look great. <laughs> so, and, and that's so good to like to hear like your closing rate because you're essentially able to avoid a lot of the practice quoting, you know, you're like, yeah, look, I'll, I'll, I'll just put it out there. I'll try to sell you. I'll try to see you on value. But, um, the idea of saying like, yeah, I'm going to get, you know, hundred leads if or over the next hundred leads, I'm going to close 80 of them. You know, it feels so different you know, where it's just like slam dunk, I'm going to be closing these. And a lot of that, obviously kudos to you because you're, you're good at sales, but also you've been able to set up that referral program with, you know, mortgage brokers, realtors, and even the auto dealerships. So I see that you work with mortgage brokers. And I think that's kind of like the golden goose. Every agent knows, golly, I wish I could work with mortgage brokers. I wish I could work with realtors. Could you give like one tip, right? One insight. How do you work with realtors and mortgage brokers and uh, so what tip would you give to other agents to try and, and work those types of relationships or set them up? Let's say set up those relationships. How do you, how do you even get your foot in the door? Yeah. So, um, I, I like to work on warm referrals. So I know a realtor, I'm going to ask that refuel, that realtor to, if they can introduce me to the mortgage brokers that they work through, that they work with. So this way that's already a foot in the door. Yeah. Um, so you have an, in. you're not just cold calling for the first time, you know, they, they know you, once you're in that office, then you can, can say, okay, what other lenders or loan originators in this office could you introduce me to? Because the same attention that I give to your clients and the same value that I bring to the table for you, I can do for other eight or other, uh, producers in your office. And, that helps to expand your your reach within the office to, to the loan officers and make sure you give it a personal touch you know i created a, a welcome letter for all my clients to um to include with their e-sign documents and i and when i have a referral from one of my lenders i put in a personal touch that's you know a shout out to them so this way their name stays in front of their clients and it, it it's a helpful reminder and they know that i do that so it it helps to foster that relationship that I'm also trying to give back to them and, you know, help them grow their, their exposure in the area, in the area. Tony, thank you so much for your time. You're yeah. a rock star. Uh, you know, we're thrilled thank to you. have you here at Firefly and thrilled to have you as part of insurance boost. So thanks so much uh, everybody for joining Tony. Thank you again. And hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Thank you.